Hey, how's it going? Today we're going to have a look at how to build these horizontal scrolling sections similar to like you see on the iPhone 14 Pro website here. I'm just scrolling up and down and we're getting some horizontal scroll. We're going to build it all in Webflow with Webflow interactions, so let's get started. Hey there, Web Bay. All right, so you can see here that I have two full page divs, start and fin, and then in the center here I have horizontal scroll wrap, which isn't currently doing anything. Now, the principle behind this horizontal scrolling section is that you're going to have a div called height that controls the height. And then within that, it's going to be position relative. And we're going to have another div nested inside with position sticky, which is this green one here. And as we, we're going to create an interaction while scrolling through height and where sticky is going to stay at the top of the viewport, the mover is going to translate to the left. Eventually, by the time sticky gets near to the bottom here, we want the mover to come all the way to the left. Okay, let's start. We have horizontal scroll wrap selected here. We're going to drop in a div, and I'm going to give this a class name of height. This is the div that controls the amount of height that we have, or really, in this case, kind of the speed that we're going to scroll through. So I'm going to give it 400 dynamic viewport heights for now. The other thing I like to do while I'm building these interactions is add a gradient to the height, just so I can see really clearly what's going on. So we can see here as we're scrolling through, it's going from black all the way to white down to our last div there. All right, so within height, we said we're going to need a sticky div. So we have a new div block here, and we'll give it a class name of sticky. And let's be true to that class name and set position to sticky with top set to zero. And now we can see here it's relative to the body, and we want it to be relative to our height div. So we'll come to height and change this to position relative. And now when we select position sticky, we can see it's relative to height. Now everything within sticky is going to get display flex. And you'll see why this comes into play later. So I went ahead and put, click display flex. And you can see here that it's kind of collapsed in size. So let's set our width to 100% of our parent, which in this case is height, and our height to 100 dynamic viewport heights. We want sticky to be like kind of a full window for us to look at. OK, so we've got our sticky div here. Let's go ahead and add another div. And this is going to be our mover now. So we'll call this mover. And we can see that since we have sticky set to display flex, Mover is set all the way on the left here. It's set to automatically shrink if needed. Anyways, Mover doesn't need much again. Remember, we're going to set it to display flex, and we can leave everything else be for now. Let's drop another div within Mover, and this one I like to call flex offset. You'll see what this is going to come into play with later, but this is going to house all of our sections now. It's also going to get display flex with all the default Webflow settings here for align stretch and justify start. OK, now let's go ahead and drop our sections, not divs. We want sections now. So we've got a section here. And I'm going to give it that same class of full page. And full page here just has a height of 100 dynamic viewport heights with align and justify in the center. Now I'm going to give it a combo class of is horizontal scroll section. And that's just because I want to give it some sort of width. So we'll give our width here something like uh, 100 viewport widths so that it takes up the full width of our screen. And I'm going to drop some text in there just so we can see something going on. And I'll say this is section. And then I'm going to copy and paste so I duplicate full page three times. And now we can see I kind of have some actually bad horizontal scroll that I don't want. I'm scrolling left and right with the mouse here. And I'm going and I'm seeing these other sections. And we can tell because we don't have that gradient background. So this is the bad kind of horizontal scroll. And you have to be careful with position sticky. When you set any of its parents to overflow hidden, then sticky won't work. So like if I took height and set it to sticky now, or sorry, and set it to overflow hidden, our sticky is gone. So let's remove that and come back on sticky and set it to overflow hidden. And now our sticky div is still there. And I can't scroll to the right here, do that horizontal scroll. If say I did need to edit what was going on in the other sections, I could just set overflow to auto and scroll over to the right here and call this section two, and call this section three, and call this section four. OK, now something else I like to do is on our sections, I just want to set a bit of a two pixel border just so we can see everything that's going on here. So we've got that going on. We should go back to sticky, and we should set our overflow back to hidden. And we should be ready for our interaction now. I'm going to go ahead and select the div with the class name of height, which is, again, the one with that big gradient that has all of the height on it. And we'll click Interactions, and we'll add a while scrolling in view interaction. We're going to play a scroll animation. And we want it to start when the element is fully visible. And we want to end when the element is fully invisible. 
and I have this one horizontal scroll. Let's go ahead and delete that. And we'll create a new one called horizontal scroll. And at 0%, we're gonna start moving our mover. Well, at 0%, it's not gonna move anywhere. We're gonna set its initial position to be 0% on the X axis. And then at 100%, you can see as I start scrolling this here, so we went negative 500 pixels. Let's change this over 2% we want to start scrolling through our sections. So if we get all the way to negative 100%, we can see that all of the sections are out of view. And if we go ahead and live preview this, we can see I'm at the start here and I'm scrolling down. We're fully in view, so our interaction starts section two, section three, section four, and then down at the bottom here. The one problem we have is that our 100% doesn't happen until that height div is fully out of view. So we've got to use our flex offset div to help us out there. So what I'm going to do is on flex offset, I'm gonna give this negative 100 viewport widths of right margin, and that's gonna push everything over to the right. So if I come back up and I watch our interaction now, and I start scrolling, it starts just as we want, section three, section four, and then we get down to the bottom at a better timing. So like right when the interaction is over, section four is fully in view, but we're also coming out too soon. So there's one other thing we can do to solve that. So to solve that, let's select our sticky div and give it a bottom margin of negative 100 viewport heights. That way it's going to essentially pull our sticky div down. We can see section four now overlaps our finish div, but then we don't want these two divs to overlap. So we need to pull the whole thing up as well. So now we'll come to our horizontal scroll wrap and to offset that negative 100 viewport heights, we'll get padding bottom of 100 viewport heights. And now if I scroll to the top and click the eye icon so we can see our interaction starts right when we want it to, we scroll through all sections and section four is at the end and then we come down into our finishing section here. So this is how to set up perfect horizontal scroll in Webflow. And you could do anything you want within each of these sections, you know, these can all be their own layouts. I have them all the same right here, but let's go ahead and say is two. And actually this was the first one. So I'm gonna grab the second one here and I'm gonna say is two, and I'm gonna set this width to something like 50 viewport widths, and then is three, and I'll give this width something like, I don't know, uh, 500 pixels we set at the start, and we can see now our interaction will still work. So section two is only 50 viewport widths, section three is whatever 500 pixels, section four is back to 100 viewport widths, and then we're scrolling into the finish section here. So I hope this helps you come up with some really cool horizontal scrolling sections for your website. If you want to, you can use this with CMS as well, and I will show you how to do that in a future video. All right, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.